This product is called Seal Crete Waterproofer. This is the component that we use as the first coat before we paint our Toscana series ovens, allowing us to seal the marble base coat, weatherproofing it. Um, this is particularly important in uh, very wet climates or climates that are pro uh, prone to freezing rain. So this is a uh, the Seal Crete water uh, is already pre-mixed using a wet sponge. Good. He's just rinsing it getting the excess material off, and then he's going to apply it. Over the complete surface area of the stucco marble base coat. Cure time on this is about 20 minutes. Unless you're in a really moist climate. Obviously, if it's sunny out, it's even better. And we do not have to wait a day before we paint. We can wait 20 minutes and then go right into doing the base coat or the first coat of paint. All right, the product you see here is from Kelly Moore Paints. This is what we use to, prevent, uh, to paint our Primavera and our Toscana ovens. Um, it's an AcroShield 100% acrylic exterior low sheen paint. Um, it's going to use approximately a quart uh, to paint a Primavera oven. Um, we get them in uh, five gallon uh, containers, obviously. This, what you're going to see now is us painting a Toscana oven rather than uh, the Primavera you saw in the previous videos, because this is what we have in production today. Um, we've already masked the oven around the brick landing. And using a paintbrush application, we're going to be painting the base of the oven below the brick arch, then around the brick arch, and certain key areas, and then we're going to use a roller after that. This is a two coat process, and it needs to dry for 24 hours before applying the glaze paint, which we'll shoot uh, at the end of this video. So just like the exterior sealcrete that we used, the sealcrete waterproofer, once he's done with this coat, it'll dry for 20 minutes. Then you'll apply the second coat, and then we'll allow it to sit for 24 hours before applying the glaze. Now that he's done the edge trim, you can see we're applying a six inch roller. Get a nice even coat. A little bit of texture. We're only going to be shooting, uh, painting the front face of the oven. The rest of the oven pretty much stays the same. Same concept. Using a brush for the base and any edges, the transition points, and then using a roller to get an even coat. Again, it'll take about 20 minutes to dry, and then we'll do a secondary coat to get a nice thick base on there. And then it'll sit for 24 hours. All right, the oven is dried for 30 minutes on the first coat. Now we're just applying a second coat. We won't be doing the uh, trim in the same way with the paintbrush. We'll just be using the roller for the second coat since the base is already established. and we'll allow it to dry for 24 hours before applying the glaze coat, which is going to be a little bit more exciting than what you saw today. 
So today we're going to be showing you uh, the glaze portion of how we complete the Toscana and the Primavera ovens with the, uh, uh, the glaze coat. Um, what you're seeing right now is our special effects color glaze, which is a translucent glaze. Um, we're going to be applying this uh, with a brush application. Um, prior to doing that, we're going to go ahead and just wipe the unit down so that you don't see any dust, which may uh, force the glaze to kind of chunk up and apply unevenly. Now that the unit's been wiped down, we're going to go ahead and start to uh, do the glazing. This is a technique to get that stained sort of look that you see on the uh, pictures on the website. Making sure he's getting any excess paint off so it doesn't glob on. dabbing the paint to get it onto the surface before he starts to rub it in. This would be a one coat process. And we'll allow it to dry for 24 hours before we create it up and tip it. Um, you have a limited amount of time from the time you get it on the brush to the time you apply it. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to congeal fairly fast, which means that as you apply it, if it dries up and takes you too long to do, you'll actually start taking it off the oven. We recommend delaying the uh, touch-up for missed spots until after you've done the complete oven and allowed it to settle a little bit and dry. Otherwise, you may be removing the uh, coat of paint that you just put on. So that's the glazing process. We're not glazing the cap yet because the, uh, the red section isn't fully dry and we don't want to mask it uh, until after it is. 